Welcome back, Seth Bling here. We came up with an interesting way to create random redstone events. Um, this is very modular, basically uses a bunch of the same thing, so you can increase and decrease the frequency as much as you want. Um, it's, it's just got a bunch of random event generators that are pretty slow, generate slow random events, and ors together their outputs through one line. So the note block is going off at random intervals. So basically what we've got here is actually, this is based on a block up to detector design. So here's one unit of the design. Um, the block up to detector is actually this torch. So if I put something nearby, you'll notice it, it updates. Um, but since, since the thing that needs updating is a torch, uh, the game engine will, will sort of randomly go through all the torches and update them every once in a while. Uh, it's very random when it does it. So that's what causes the random effect on the note block. Um, so the the reason this is not up to date is that we have a redstone line that is running directly into this block, which should depower the torch, but it isn't. And the reason that it isn't is that um, is that before this piston pushed, we sort of had an L shape, and this L shape doesn't run directly into this block, so it's not going to update the torch. Um, and so then when the, when the piston does push the block, it sort of creates this straight shape that uh, doesn't update this torch here. So um, nice, little, nice little block update detector based on the torch. You can use this with blocked up block update detector too, but it's going to be unreliable because sometimes the torch will just randomly figure out that it's supposed to be depowered, it'll turn off, which will pull the piston and push it again. So that's what we see uh, with the random events. When there's a random event, the, a piston gets pulled and then uh, pushed back into place, resetting the update detector. So this is kind of a neat way of creating random events. I'm actually going to use this in an upcoming game that I'm working on. So uh, keep an eye out for that, and thanks for watching.